hello, hello, and hello once more, dear and wonderful zine friends. Welcome back to Happy Mel Monday. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I am Silver Nix, your resident zine enthusiast, hanging out in rural Australia, showing you the amazing and awesome mail that has arrived in my post box over the past week, and sometimes singing unnecessarily and badly. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. And I want to state right off the bat that it's April 1st. I think it's April 1st, isn't it? Isn't it? Anyway, no April Fools for me. Mm -mm. No April Fools for me. Like, I just in general find that a lot of April Fools stuff is just cruel. I mean, some people do fun little things and that's okay, but like, there's a lot of cruelty. There's a lot of stuff that just isn't funny and I just, I don't like surprises. Well, I mean, those kind of surprises. Like, I love surprises in the mail, <laughs> but I don't like those kind of surprises. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's not the day for me, so there won't be any like weirdness and this this isn't a psycho either I'm not I'm not gonna be like I don't do uh, April Fool's and then do something it's just it's not for me it's not for me and and like I don't mean to be like a <laughs> like a rain on anybody's parade or anything like that I'm just I'm that kind of person like I just I don't like most of it and like I can't like even tell me if this is weird or not or if other people are, are like this as well I can't even watch those um, fail videos if people get hurt if they like fall or or roll a, a truck or something like like fail like that serious like car accident stuff I just can't watch people getting hurt even like I don't understand and like I'm not m mocking anybody who likes watching those fail videos obviously people do but yeah I'm it, they're just not for me <laughs> because if I watch somebody get hurt it's almost it, it like it almost hurts me to watch it like it's a it's a very physical reaction to watching people get hurt and stuff so like yeah no April Fools no fail videos no nothing I think that might make me a boring person, but <laughs> I can't help how I react to some things. Anyway, so bit a uh, bit of that, just bit <laughs> out of the way. I don't know. Like I know some people, some YouTubers do really cute um, April Fool stuff um, and whatnot, but. I, I I have the dislike of April Fools and I do not have the brain power to think of something cute so maybe next year I'll think of something cute so anyway hi welcome to April I hope you all had a lovely weekend I'm not prepared for April there's a lot going on this month uh, <laughs> I will be taking a break from um, well not taking a break what well, kind of I have a procedure coming up at the end of the month and well it's kind of like a few procedures and it's kind of like well you're gonna be under anesthetic like you're gonna be knocked out so let's knock out a few things at the same time <laughs> so it's that um so I decided that <laughs> I would use the like I obviously I need the time off to like get the procedures done um, but I will be taking a little extra time off to recover because this will be the first time that I've had um, anesthetic or done any sort of day operations or procedures or anything like this since um, before the autoimmune disorder or autoimmune disease hit diseases um, and so I don't know how I will react to things but we shall see but just preemptively just to be sure I recover as well as possible I will be uh, taking the time around that off I'll have more details for that um, in blog posts and on Instagram and I might do a short here just to remind people because if you have a guest post or want a video of yours featured if you're a zine tuber um, yeah just send me an email because um, yeah, you can guest post on seagreenzines.com. You can 
um, I can feature a video or something like that. I will try to post like reviews and stuff in advance, but I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> because all this stuff is happening in Adelaide because um, I can't get it done at my local hospital uh, and so there's a lot of travel involved pre-op travel and, and uh, all this stuff but anyway so if you're interested in guest posting or having a video of yours featured or something like that just feel free to get in touch because it'll be I'll have to check the calendar but it'll be towards the end of April and possibly the first week of May I have to check the count. But anyway, so just, <laughs> just a lot of random admin and notes to start off the day. So sorry about that because we are here for the mail. We're here for a bit of rambling, but <sighs> we don't want to hear about admin. <sighs> so hello, hello, hello. Um, yeah, usually I don't I don't start these videos. If you're new here, usually I do not start these videos with anything other than rambling. Uh, usually not any medical news, but just while it's on my mind, there it is. So <laughs> let us let us get into the mail. I have no idea if it's gonna be a long one or a short one. Probably longer because we have mail from three amazing people. Ah, <sighs> Zine friends, I love Zine friends. Oh goodness, I'm, I feel so fortunate, like so, I'm so grateful to all of you because I have, I have made new zine friends through trades and more people are getting in contact and being like, hey, do you do trades? And more people are like, hey, can I send you my zine? Of course you can send, you can always send the zines. The only thing that like, I will open things and I think there's only been like one time where I, I actually had to cut out something because it was wildly inappropriate. But that was like a couple of years ago so um in regards to like reviews and stuff like that the only things i don't do are um politics um and religions a bit of a sticky one like ancient religions and stuff like that dig it we'll totally love to know about your fascination with the norse gods or the egyptian gods or the sumerian gods or anything like that that's cool but like modern religion is kind of a tough area as evidenced by all my hand waving <laughs> so yeah you can always send the zines anyway but as always i am very 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 behind on all of the zine reviews i keep looking over that way because i actually went through my zines recently um because <laughs> what started i went through my zines recently um and I had because I'd actually bought a zine that I already had <laughs> I'm like I need to do this anyway so many rambles starting off this us off today so sorry about that let us get into the mail and let us start with Billy Billy the bunny Billy the amazing Billy the totally absolutely gave me permission to show off his uh, post box <laughs> <laughs> so that is why that's not covered up because otherwise I will like with Sierra and Jen's envelopes otherwise I will cover up the address um, <laughs> it only took me like six years but like okay if you if you're really sure that I can definitely show you that the, the um, <laughs> show off the post box dress okay <sighs> It's, oh, okay, this this is a great start to the month. Anyway, so I've talked about Billy so much here on Happy Mail Monday. Like he consistently, like his consistency with his life update newsletter, The Desert Sun, is just oh, my goodness, like inspiring me. <laughs> I I barely keep up with the misses from Murray Bridge, but. I am very much inspired by Billy and other people like him who make life update newsletters. So what has Billy been up to in February? Hello everyone and welcome to the end of February. It's a leap year. So I thought I would put leap day as my date on the letter. I never write the date on which I'm writing the newsletter but instead write the date on which I hope it will arrive to your mailbox. Okay. I just put the month because <laughs> it varies wildly when I put it. So life update newsletter, just what he's been through, like this is, it's, it's like a trifold posing. What you've been up to, 
what you've been reading, um, what you've been watching. So there's some sports in here. Super Bowl Sunday. I had to work my job at the casino, casino Super Bowl Sunday, which I sort of forgot is basically a holiday in the US. I was reminded of this when a lot of non-gamblers came in to gamble. Which is fine, but tiring when you have a lot of people who don't know what they're doing and it's your job to teach them. Oh, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. I completely forgot. Um, there were some um, headlines, and I avoid the news for the sake of my mental health, but there were some headlines that even got to me that were um, about, you know, a big sports event leaves fans freezing or something like that. I'm like, what big sports event? And then I'm like, oh, Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness me Let's see Super Bowl shooting the stupidity of politics a bit more news um, movies watched a new story I've been working on a new story this month it's a silly adventure story and I'm really into it I don't write a ton of fiction I've never de definitely never written a story like this before there's some mystery and some treasure hunting I don't read a lot of a ton of books like that but I can see the appeal both as a reader and as a writer I'm having a great time figuring out what I want to have and then going back to the previous chapters to plant clues oh my goodness it makes me miss writing so much I miss writing Oh, I need to write. I do need to write. But that is neither here nor there for the Happy Mail Monday video. This is the Desert Sun. I will, from Billy, Billy the Bunny, I will have all of Billy's goodness in the bits and bob because if you do not know Billy, check him out. He is like writing stories, writing nonfiction, making, writing books, uh, music, zine tuber, all this amazing stuff. So definitely get to know him. Go say hi, all that good stuff. And as always, Billy, um, you should get some mail from me soon if you haven't already. Or did you? Anyway, <laughs> forgive my brain. But thank you so much, Billy, for always sending the Desert Sun. It's always a pleasure to see goodness from you in the mail and see what you will read, what you are up to in your life. Because I don't get out much. <laughs> I shall live vicariously through you <laughs> and through everybody who sends me perzines. Because you're all wonderful and you all live such interesting lives, even though you don't think you do but everything's a matter of perspective in life. So thank you so much to Billy and I shall move on to the next bit of mail. Oh my goodness. I still, like it still really hits me sometimes that I get to sit here and open mail and show you the amazing mail and like people like to watch it. And it's not about the watching, it's about the zines. But I still, I'm just so, so grateful that I get to do this. This is so exciting for me. Like, it's like Christmas, and but then I get to show zines, and when you connect with each other, and like maybe you'll discover someone you didn't know before. And it's just, it's beautiful. Anyway, so next up, we have mail from Jen Payne of Manifest Zine Series fame of Three Chairs Publishing who is just an amazing, awesome, sweet, kind, generous person who makes these zines. The quality of these zines, let me tell you. Oh my goodness me. My goodness me. Now, let us double check. We do not want to miss a note. We almost missed a note last week. Oh my goodness. I was just... Anyway, so... <laughs> So as I mentioned, Jen is from the Manifest Zine series. Oh my goodness. Like, these zines, I just, talk about petting the zines, oh my goodness, it's been a while since I've pet the zines. They just, they feel nice. It's kind of a, it's a glossy smoothness, but without fear of, like, um, fingerprints. Sorry, I can brain and I can word. Anyway, so, Manifest Zine Series is so awesome. They come in different shapes and different sizes and each issue has a different theme. And how are we on number 14 already? That's kind of blowing my mind. Um, <laughs> you mean a woman can open it? <laughs> oh my goodness. I was, um, I was getting groceries and Wanderer was there and <laughs> we, um, we came to the frozen meal section and there was like there the pub sized meals I met and they had these frozen dinners called man sized meals. 
And I, I looked at Wonder and said, that looks really good, but like, obviously I don't think I can handle it as a woman. <laughs> like, like some things, I try to keep my head far away from all the things. But I could not help but have a joke at the, the man-sized meal. <laughs> like, oh dear, I cannot handle the man-sized meal. Anyway, sorry about that, sorry about that tangent. But anyway, you mean a woman can open it? So yes, manifest, oh my goodness, see? this It's just gorgeous. Like, all of the zines are truly edgy color printing. They just, they're nice paper, they feel good, and they are filled with, uh... <laughs> Oh my goodness. A wonder. Oh. <laughs> they are filled with pictures and poetry and written pieces and all sorts of stuff. And I'm loving all the colors and the theme. Oh, love it. So, I shall read. <laughs> Manifest number 14. You mean a woman can open it? Winter 2024. Let's see. <laughs> Front cover from a 1953 Alcoa aluminum advertisement. You mean a woman can open it easily without a knife, a bottle opener, or even a husband? Well, my boy, let's get started. From For Me, the Perfect Hostess is the Lady with the Whip, German Artist Book 1960s. <laughs> oh my goodness. My goodness me. So the back cover from the collection of the Richard Freiherr von Kraft Ebbing, excuse me, I've probably said that very badly, a German-Austrian psychiatrist and early sexologist in 1886. Oh, a century before I was born. <laughs> Nevertheless, she persisted, an expression adopted by feminists, especially in the U.S., after the Senate voted to require Senator Elizabeth Warren to stop speaking during the confirmation of Jeff Sessions as a ter U.S. Attorney General. My goodness me. <gasps> oh, goodness. Winter 2024. <laughs> You bought yourself a job, the 60-something male financial advisor said of my successful 30-year-old graphic design business. I didn't think to explain the numerous companies I'd assisted over the years, the countless artists, editors, designers, and print shops I'd supported, or the millions of dollars I'd helped local nonprofits raise. I didn't think to ask if he would say the same about my male accountant and attorney, both of whom are sole proprietors like myself. No doubt they own firms or practices. I didn't think to say much, except curtly thank him for his time and leave. For me, the financial planner was just one in a line of men for whom I've had no comment. <laughs> oh my goodness, so I guess, I, like, I think you can probably get a sense of the theme. Oh. So, like, big peaks. Look at that! Like all the colors, uh, and there's usually an extra. And this this issue's extra is a bookmark. A woman needs a man, like a fish needs a bicycle. Gloria Steinem. <laughs> oh, bookmark! That's so cool. I oh yes, yay! I always love a bookmark. Always love. Um, so, along with the extra, sometimes it's a sticker, sometimes it's a bookmark, sometimes it, it's a flyer for um, um, other books that um, Three Cheers Publishing has published. Oh my goodness, I'm just like not getting over the design of this page. So cool! I love it! But um, <laughs> my mind just goes, ooh! But, also, along with each issue, they have a Spotify playlist, which I just love. I love the extras. I love when there are recommendation lists. I love when there are playlists. Like, to think you could sit down and listen to what the zine maker was listening to as they made the zine that you're currently holding. Like, oh, there's, there's like a layer of existence in there. I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh. <laughs> What are little girls made of? Sugar, spice, and everything nice. That's what little girls are made of. Mmm. Got more on the spicy side, but you know. <laughs> 
to this. This is manifesting. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because I think you should get your own copy of this and numbers 1 through 13 because they're all amazing. Like this one's a booklet. There have been more A5 size ones. I think it was manifest... Don't quote me because I'm not for sure, but I think it was manifest two or three that was one page, but like unfolded and there was poetry and all and all sorts of stuff. And they just, they all feel really nice because I'm a very tactile person. It's part of the reason why, um, only part of it though, that's part of the reason I, own, I don't review digital zines currently because yeah, tactile is part of the zine experience and Jen of Three Cheers Publishing definitely makes it quite an experience with the Manifest Zine series as well as books because Jen sent me um, Water Under the Bridge. So yes, there are books to be seen with Three Cheers Publishing if you wanna check out all the goodness in the bits and bobs. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny like um obviously quite a few zines come my way but like I, I really I value all the mail that's in my way of course I'm, I'm in Australia I'm a bajillion miles from pretty much everybody um, <laughs> pretty much everybody not quite everybody um, and so I appreciate all the mail that I sent my way but I was actually just wondering like manifest scene I haven't seen another edition of those for a while and then yay lo and behold so thank you so much to Jen Jen has been so very very generous over the years sending me <laughs> the manifest scene series which I I just adore all over the place for so many reasons thank you a million times over to Jen for sending that along and hi <laughs> I thought I might actually get through a whole video without needing a jump cut, but when your lady needs to cough, your lady needs to cough. Anyway, so thank you once again to Jen for that another another amazing entry in the Manifest Zine series. My goodness. <sighs> y'all are so nice to me. I don't know why I'm doing the y'all thing, but y'all are so nice to me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And next up, last but of course not least, we have mail from bum ba -da bum Sierra de Carmen! Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, insert cheers and stuff like that. If I start cheering, I'm probably going to make myself cough again. Ooh, oh my goodness me. Yay! So, another amazing zine maker that I am so excited to tell you about, especially if you have not heard of Sierra before. Sierra de Carmen, a uh, person who introduced me to making zines on Canva. I will be in Design Girl forever and ever and ever, but Canva is sounds like an amazing platform for people and Adobe is expensive. I had to get it years ago, years and years ago for um, my writing, professional writing and editing stuff. So I had to get it years and years ago. Um, but Canva sounds like an amazing alternative that is very flexible and versatile and all that good stuff. And Sierra is just an amazing person all around. I said just an amazing person. Sierra is an amazing, amazing person. Full stop. Full stop. My goodness. And we have zines. We have zines and I'm so like, oh. Ugh. Anyway. Anyway. So. Let's see. People just go, I'm like, well, they, and I can never do that. Anyway, we have no note. We do a note check. We always do a note check. Anyway, so we have so much goodness here. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, so. Nah. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, okay. <laughs> so let me get these folded up before I start prattling on too much. But one of the things <laughs> is... Um, that Sierra always reminds me to mention is that if you want to save some shipping costs, unfold your zines and lay them flat because it's usually cheaper to send flat ones, flat zines than thick zines. And you send them the same zines, but when they're flat, you know, you get flatter shipping, etc., etc. Because apparently, you know, the the post offices get a bit um, get a bit <clears throat> when your zines be thick. Just say. 
Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh. So much to be excited about. Hello, I'm the note. Isn't that cool? It's so funny because I do these videos and like as much as I like there's just a part of my brain where it just doesn't sink in like people are really like watching. I suppose that makes that's one reason I can do YouTube because I just like there's a part of my brain that always thinks nobody's gonna watch. And so it's not like I, d I don't get like super anxious about it because part of my brain is just shut down I'm like yeah nobody's gonna watch. <laughs> but I mention notes all the time and now Zeros sent me a note <laughs> in zine form. Oh, that's so cute. That's so freaking cute. And it has a cool, I like the texture. See, I told you I'm a very tactile person. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Nix. Hello, Sierra. <laughs> Look, I'm trying a new thing with the notes. I've been using, I've been using lately a more compact version of this for my my trades. Thank yous, and I can say I like it a lot. Oh, cool! That is neat. That is neat. I cannot believe how long have I been doing this. I've been trading zines for nearly a decade and a half, if not decade and a half. And I've been doing YouTube for what, six years maybe? I don't know. I should really find that out. And not once have I thought, make the note a zine. My goodness. <laughs> this is so cool. February was a quiet zine making month. I made only three zines. I decided to rather send those three instead of waiting to make a larger pack. Aww. That also gave me a chance to add a little something. I see! <laughs> oh, this month and from now on, you'll be getting quarter size of my zines instead of mini. I will keep creating the minis for trades since it keeps everything more accessible for everybody. Accessibility is a big thing for me about zines. Totally get that. But I'm seriously thinking about opening an online shop and or a subscription program. And I think I... I'd rather use quarter size for those. We'll see. So this pack is trekking from USA to Australia at the beginning of March. My best lady plans say I will make those 31 minis for minis in March. But oh, I don't know what kind of curveballs are in store for me. I will still give it a try. Also, I included a copy of zine number 16 because I think I somehow skipped it. Oh my goodness. Hugs, Sierra. Hugs from Australia. <laughs> this is so cool. And it has a, a typewritten back. And then you have the front. And then the note goes inside you. So you can have, it's a zine. Like you print it, you can print it out. So you have the front and the back. And then you, the zine itself is a personalized note. And I just, I love the idea to bits. And I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Sierra. Oh, that's so cool. So, Lost Stone Pack there. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Um, so as Sierra mentioned, she uh, actually contacted me and asked if I'd want quarter size or mini size. So this is a mini zine, one page folded. Um, and quarter size are this size. Now I asked for quarter size just because <laughs> I had to say it, but <laughs> I am getting older. But at the same time, um, I'm on medications that can mess with your eyeballs. So I figure bigger print, bigger print is always <laughs> appreciated in my world. Not that anybody has to go to any sort of lengths to accommodate me. Um, I do appreciate that Sierra asked me <laughs> about that. So thank you so much for Sierra, to you, Sierra, for asking me and thinking of that because that's, that's really lovely in my eyes. Thank you. <laughs> And I thank you, along with my eyeballs, but my eyeballs also independently thank you, because I'm so weird. <laughs> so, in regards to starting a shop or a subscription program or something like that, I think that's a great idea um, for a number of reasons. Uh, I could go, I could prattle on a lot about different options and things like that. Uh, I know that some people, quite a few people see success on Patreon. I still recommend Kofi, even though 
Kofi's a little bit harder in terms of discoverability. If you've already got other means for people, other ways by which people can find you, I re recommend Co Kofi because they're a lot more transparent with the fees um, and they take less than Patreon. Um, there's, there's other things like buy me a coffee and, and, and things like that, but I haven't really looked into those. I mean, I can if people would really like a new series, but it will go on the list because I'm <laughs> kind of, uh, I'm all over the place, but it can go on the list. But um, yeah, I would personally, like Etsy, Etsy and I, we're not even frenemies. I don't like Etsy. Um, for a number of reasons, including it being difficult for non-US um, sellers. But, I mean, I'd still recommend, like, it depends how much you want to invest. You didn't ask for my advice, but I'm prattling off on this. But I would recommend starting with Kofi. It's, it's easy to start. You can have a combination of shop and memberships. And memberships can serve, like be like a subscription service and all this like get to know Kofi um and then go from there you might want to you might want to do an Etsy shop you might want to do a big cartel you might want to do something else but yeah start with Kofi and let me know so I can follow you on Kofi because I like Kofi I am not sponsored but if I could be I would be because I totally believe in Kofi and I love how easy it is how transparent they are the functionality like you can like it's a blog and a shop and a membership service like all wrapped in one I friggin love it so anyway I apologize for the tangent <laughs> but yeah um I'm really get really passionate so the extra. I'm gonna start with the extra because this is so cool. Patched. <laughs> Just chill. I love it. That is so cool. I really like I have um I have this big um piece of fabric over here for all my pins for my pin collection, which I have not showed off for a while. Um Oh, hello! <laughs> Somebody wanted to say hi. So, hi from Zine Cat Asimov. Anyway, so I have that big um, piece of fabric over there for pins and buttons and things like that. But I want to do something with, for patches because you can see just between me and the Zine Cat, I have a few patches. <laughs> like I put on something. I love this. And definitely I could always use a reminder to, to just chill. So <laughs> that's amazing. See? See? You like it? It's chill? Yes, it, it, it does smell good, doesn't it? I don't actually. <laughs> oh, we'll put you. We'll put you over there, buddy. <laughs> so hi from Zine Cat. But anyway. <laughs> Oh my goodness, my brain can't handle so many things happening at once. Anyway, just chill. I love it. Thank you so much. Hmm. I think for right now, it's gonna go right there. And eventually, yay! You can just see, cool. Eventually, I will get a piece of material that's just for the, my patches. So I'll just <laughs> ruin some of the magic here. So I've got this big thing here with lots of pins and buttons and things on it. <laughs> Did I ruin somebody's day by ruining the magic? Anyway, so <laughs> thank you so much for that. I love it. Oh, so cool. Extra surprises. All right. So <laughs> We have zines, and once again, just remember that these are available as um, mini zines for trades and accessibility and everything like that. But um, yeah, I requested <laughs> quarter size <laughs> because I'm like that. Anyway, so thank you, Sierra, so very much for the um, <laughs> for the extra consideration. I appreciate it. So number sixteen. Oh, okay. Actually, I think you might be right, because you mentioned number 16. 
also included a copy of Z number 16 because I think I somehow skipped it. Yeah, I, I, maybe. Possibility. I think so because I'm not recognizing it. So let's start there, shall we? And if you're wondering what the numbering is about, I have prattled on about the numbering, but this is SDC zine number 16 because Sierra has numbered <laughs> numbered all the zines and I love it. It has like inspired me to number all of my zines and I was originally inspired by Nina, Nina Zina, who numbers her zines and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are just so inspiring. Like my to-do list goes like, and my zine ideas, but it's because you're all so inspiring. But anyway, so we have number 16, Zine Fun Facts Minipedia. And I love that colorful background. I love it. Absolutely. So this has, oh, zines are beyond gatekeepers. Nobody needs to approve of your zine ideas for a zine to be made. Nobody can edit what you had to communicate. Nobody can decide at the last minute that the world does not need your voice. Yes, 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 yes. So here we go. We have posts from Sierra that were I believe originally posted on Instagram and this is a collection of them and yeah oh my goodness zines are beyond audience size a zine created for the exclusive consumption of its zinester slash creator is as much of a zine as another one shared with 15 friends as much of a zine as another one distributed to, for free to strangers as as much of a zine as another one that just sold its 1000th copy Ah, cool! So this is a mini zine filled with posts from Sierra and they're all very inspiring and just remind you that there are no gatekeepers in the zine verse. Zines are a wonderful, beautiful means of expression that can come out in any way you want them to, whether it's made on a computer, cut and paste, a mini zine, a huge A4 zine. I've got a couple of A4 zines. Um, <laughs> it, they are everything and anything that you want them to be because nobody is sitting around deciding whether or not you can come in and be part of the zine verse if you make a zine you are part of the zine verse if you read zines you're part of the zine verse you don't have to make zines to be part of the zine verse it's all wonderful stuff and this scene is full of reminders of that so thank you oh my goodness ah. <laughs> i'll just read the back here Zinester's gonna zine number two. On Sunday morning, I had a thought about zines. It sounded to me like a universal zine truth, so I decided to share it publicly on Instagram, my online platform of choice for zine topics, in case it resonated with anyone else. Many did, so I kept posting those little thoughts on Sunday mornings, and people kept resonating with them. Here you have the first few ones, properly collected, of course, in a zine. Each thought has a QR code to the original Instagram post in case you want to interact with those. I hope you find this zine enjoyable. Ah, love it! Love it! <laughs> and so there's QR codes, there are tags, there's all kinds of goodness. So I'll just show you a bit closer up. There's tags and then, then there is a date for, um, date and time for when they're posted. <laughs> love it! Love that idea too. I like, um, there was for a while this thing about how it was seemed deemed a little lazy or something like that to just take something you'd already written on online and just put it into a zine. But again, that's a bit of gatekeeping and we don't have gatekeeping around here. <laughs> anyway. Oh my goodness me. Okay. So next we have bonus round. Now bonus round is, um, the series where you get a bonus for trading with Sierra. So definitely, you know, check the bits and bobs for all of Sierra's details, which I will have down, down in the bits and bobs. Um, <laughs> because trading with Sierra is a joy because look, look at all the goodness. I think there's so much color. I think your zines do not have to be in color. I am just appreciating the color, but I appreciate the black and white too. <laughs> Every single year, come the month of February, there is a particular flavor of madness that takes over the collective mind. A madness, we are told, comes in the name of love. 
Do you know? <laughs> I think I don't. I don't even remember Valentine's Day. Oh my goodness. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Ooh. And so yeah. Um. Sierra could probably describe it a lot better herself. But yes, <laughs> when you get a trade pack, you get a bonus little something something for you. Just for you. Well, for anybody who try. Uh, who um trades that month and then these bonus ones are put aside and not like re-released until a few months later please correct me if i'm wrong <laughs> i think that's how it works but again like if you set up a kofi or like i will still <laughs> like you don't i'm not saying you can't do patreon i'm not gatekeeping where you do anything i'm just recommending kofi but um i will I will share your Patreon link if you decide that Patreon is better for you and all of that good stuff. But yeah, I think that'll be, like, um, you can, <laughs> my brain has just suddenly stopped working completely and it's just like zines. Let's go read the zines. Why are we still talking? We're still talking because the zines are awesome. So yes, um, if you, um, get into trading rounds, I th um, Sarah has a, a newsletter to remind you. Um, what's being traded from month to month and all that good stuff. And I wanted to say <laughs> that brings up the, the note. Um, a quiet zine making month. I made only three zines. My goodness me. I only made two zines. But we say only. Like, well done. I'm making three zines. That's awesome. Let's see. We also have... <laughs> This is awesome because the last um, happy mail from Sierra, um, she included uh, Huh, like a zine called Huh, which was her life update newsletter zine. And in it, she mentioned not being sure that she would continue it. And now we have Huh, two, and Huh, three. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I love it. Sierra's so called life update. Ooh. Oh, cool! And again, see, you can see it. instead of this like burnt, burnt, it actually opens up. Look at that! So you can. There's so many different ways of folding and everything. It's so cool. Gee, hi, hi. <laughs> well, here I am giving this life update newsletter thing another try. Let's see how much I have to say this time. I mean, I usually think I do not have anything to say. <laughs> Excuse me about the wrong emphasis. I mean, I usually think I do not have anything to say, but then I run out of pages for all the words I wanted to let out. I started making this one. Oh, sorry. I could... I'm so sorry. I thought that was Canada. I'm like, you're in Canada? Um, I started making this one in Canva as usual, and OMG, I struggled. For some reason, it just wasn't working out, so I switched to do this by hand, and it seems it's just what I needed. Totally get that. When you typing versus writing, you use different parts of your brain. And that's why um, people say like when you have writer's block or creative block, um, if you usually handwrite, try typing or painting or things like that. Or if you usually make stuff online on your computer, try doing it by hand if you can. And yeah, it can be just the thing. Totally get that. I love the precision the digital tools give me. Yep, me too. But sometimes the magic is in the craftiness. Totally get it. Somehow I'm digging the touch of jankiness I see here. I love that you use the word janky. <laughs> oh, cool. It feels freeing, but I'm not quitting Canva. Totally get that. But yeah, sometimes you just need to shake it up a bit. So this opens like this. Seeing so stuff and it just, ah, love it. Love it! I love that it. it opens differently too. So cool! So inspiring! So that was for February 2024. I wish one person <laughs> I wish one person I look to uh, look up to would admit they're a hot fucking mess. <laughs> well, I would never presume that anybody looks up to me, look at me, or be like, oh, you're interested, or what, you know, maybe. But I wouldn't say anybody looks up to me. But in the event that it is helpful to anybody, 
And in the event that it is not clearly evident by the entirety of my existence in these videos. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nyx. I am a hot fucking mess. <laughs> My entire existence is a mess. I'm a mess. Everything I do is a mess. I am chaos walking and I have actually described my la myself as that to people in general when we, hi, I'm chaos walking. I am a, I am a hot fucking mess. So again, not assuming or presuming or trying to put myself like anywhere that I, above where I actually am in people's eyes. I'm not assuming that anybody looks up to me because if you do, that's cool but i don't understand why <laughs> but just in case that helped anyone i just thought i'd put it out there even though i'm just like please don't think i have a massive ego i just wanted to be helpful anyway hi i'm a mess i'm chaos walking anyway and then we have huh uh sierra's so-called life update for march oh my goodness who gets to determine what makes her happy Ooh color me intrigued dun, 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 dun. gee hi hi <laughs> this past january the collective people were insisting that the month took forever to end mm. but to me it seemed to fly by and there was no it was no different for february it just went by so fast there was not even enough time to think i agree i would love to say that this is that this feeling speedy <laughs> excuse me I would love to say that this feeling speeding time is disturbing or at least notice it and wish I could manage how I use the time much better, but it just feels natural. That is what feels weird. The sense that everything being so unsurprising, so run of the mill, so meaningless. And I get that and I get to think that it's actually me. Maybe I'm becoming emotionally blind, I guess. <sighs> I could go on and on. I, this is a long video, so I don't want to go like too on and on, but I could totally like get into the, like, I think it's the state of the world. I think we're overwhelmed. I think we're over, <laughs> I think we're, um, what's the word I want to, I think things are being shouted at us from the news, from media, from everything. Uh, lots of people are cranky and lots of people aren't cranky, but the new, the mass media would like us to think poop. I think we're just overwhelmed and that causes us to shut down sometimes. I think that's why it's important to unplug sometimes and that's why it's important to look away from the screen and, and all of that stuff. Anyway, so I won't get into much of a ramble about that, but like I totally get where you're coming from and I totally get that urge to just like power down time. Um, <laughs> kind of like, I need to recover. <laughs> what she wants. If I had to pick one big thing that I want now, it would be an easy choice. I really want to live on my own. I want to have my space all my, my space all to my own. I don't need to own a place. I'll be just fine renting, but I need my own space, but it is not financially possible at the moment. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That and that is enough. Like, <laughs> that is a, like I could, I could probably sit and do like one happy mail Monday, huge happy mail Monday video on everything in here. Cause I feel that too. Cause a lot of that's going around. Like I have a friend who, and you hear about it too. I have a friend who just cannot, who, who, who has a good job, who's actually moving to an even a much, much, much like paying him three more three times more I think he said and he still can't afford the rent around here not that there's a lot to rent and we're in Murray Bridge which is an hour out of Adelaide so you'd think there'd be a bit more flexibility in terms of options for renting and prices and stuff like that but no and I talked to Black Wolf about, Wolf about it and things are bad there in terms of renting and it's just yeah what's going on in the world because like if there's if it's not the price of rentals it's that there aren't any rentals and it's just it's crazy so I feel for you and hmm. let's just say if I win the lottery like a lot of people are going to <laughs> a 
lot of people are gonna like debts paid off and things like that because that's what I want to do because I don't I don't like that so many people are struggling not that I can save the world but I can try anyways so sorry about those rambles I'm going way off tangent but I just like um, what you're dealing with hitting me in the feels anyway so that's all kinds of goodness from Sierra and thank you once again for sending me <laughs> a bigger size like if it's a matter of postage problems if the postage becomes stupid because they're bigger ones and not smaller ones then definitely send me smaller ones I don't want anybody to be stressing because of me but I do appreciate these ones being quarter size anyway I have rambled on so very much and I actually need to get to you know editing the 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 happy meal and to post it because goodness knows every now and then YouTube just or my internet connection just takes oh I'm just gonna take six hours to upload this video anyway ramble 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 so I will say thank you so very much to Sierra thank you so very much to Jen thank you so very much to Billy like <laughs> thank you all very very much for your kindness and generosity and all of this stuff and thank you to everyone who watches these who listens to all the rambles and I know this today is a long one but here we are here we are and I am grateful and appreciative for all of you everybody who sends me mail who does the the likes and the comments and and, and the things and the and the new subscribers and all the stuff and the old subscribers love you too <laughs> um yeah thank you just thank you in general to everybody I appreciate you all you're all wonderful and yeah all that good stuff so <laughs> I shall wrap up oh my goodness I just I feel so hot all over the place I hope this happy mail Monday is okay anyway Once again, thank you. And until next time, make some zines, have some fun, take a deep breath, remind yourself you are not alone, remind yourself that you are appreciated. Enjoy whatever weather you're having if you can enjoy it. And spread a little sunshine. I swear the uh, alphabet soup that is my brain is just getting worse. Like, I swear. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Mid-sentence. Where am I? What was I saying? <laughs> what, what is happening? <sighs> I appreciate all of you so much. I know this is a small YouTube video and mostly just me opening mail and stuff but i appreciate you all so very very much thank you <laughs>